Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd speak to you today for a few minutes as to why you should make your mental health a priority in your life. What a lot of people don't realize is that mental health forms a very important part of your overall health. So much so that the World Health Organization has actually stated that there is no health without mental health. But beyond that, mental health conditions are also quite common. If I give it to you in numbers, about one in four people will be affected by a mental health condition at some point in their lives. And that's quite a big number if you think about it. Now we as psychiatrists, we treat a whole range of mental health conditions and today I thought I'll speak to you very briefly about one of the more common mental health conditions that we encounter and that perhaps you also have seen and that is depression. Now depression, like I said, is quite common. It affects about 5 to 10 percent of the population at any given point of their lives. Depression also does not discriminate between nationality, ethnicity, religion, caste, age or gender. So it can affect anyone. What a lot of people ask me is why do people get depressed or what drives people into depression? The answer is not so simple. The reason that it's not so simple is because there are a variety of factors that come together to make a person more vulnerable to be driven into depression. Now, if I very briefly mention to you what these factors are, one of the important factors is if you have a family history of depression, if you are suffering from long-standing medical conditions, if you have cardiac problems, if you've had uh, joint problems, any long-standing medical condition can make you more prone. Then beyond that, there are the factors like what your personality is. What kind of person are you? Are you someone who's generally quite anxious, worrying, uh, has difficulty controlling their temper, has difficulty coping with stressors in their lives, then that makes you more vulnerable to develop depression. Then finally, one of the main reasons why people get depressed is occurrences in our day-to-day -day lives which are too stressful to handle. We call these life events. Now, one of the key life events that drives people into depression is what we call loss events. Loss events are a loss in your life which has a personal significance to you. The main reasons are loss by death, separation, divorce. Of course, there are many other loss events in people's lives, losing a part of your body, losing a job, things like that. So if one is to develop depression, then one or more of the factors that we discussed before have come together to drive this person into a depression. It's not merely stressful life events that will make you go into depression. Now, having said that, the next question that arises is, how do I recognize depression, either in myself or in another person? There are a few factors which will help you recognize the early signs of depression. The key feature in depression is having a persistently low mood or you're feeling persistently sad, continuously sad for days and days, not just an hour or two. Together with that, you will find that you have a slump in your energy levels. You're not active as before. Little things tend to exhaust you. 
You lose interest in things that you really used to enjoy, things you found pleasurable in your life, no longer give you any pleasure. Then beyond that, you will have trouble with your sleep. You may have trouble, trouble initiating your sleep. You may have problems with your appetite. You will have problems or difficulty focusing on things. You may find that you're constantly thinking in a very negative, in a very pessimistic way. You've lost all sense of self-confidence. You feel that life is not worth living anymore. And people with untreated depression can therefore very easily have very dangerous thoughts about hurting yourself, about harming yourself. And some people actually go through with these thoughts, make plans and actually attempt suicide. So depression is one of the key reasons why we lose people to death by suicide. Now, having said that, you don't need to have all of the symptoms that I mentioned to have a full episode of depression. You can have a few of these symptoms that we spoke about. So if you have any doubt as to whether you may be having a few of these symptoms, or if you know anyone who you think might be suffering from the, any of these symptoms, please don't hesitate to bring them to us because more often than not, depression is curable and therefore suicide through depression is preventable. There are a wide variety of treatment options for depression and your psychiatrist will be able to speak to you and you can both agree on what the best options for you are. So I hope that the message is clear. I particularly wanted to highlight about depression, which I think everyone should be aware about. And if you have any concerns or any queries pertaining to what we spoke about, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.